Hey, folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm Taylor. We're going to be checking out what, young lady? Uh, Norma MacDonald is married to a real battle ex, Conan and TBS. All right, let's hope this doesn't get blocked. I'm going to just try to pause this again. Mm -hmm. You're a pro. <laughs> you're a pro. You came out here. You lit this crowd up. I'm you, just telling the truth. You're a truth teller. You got your, uh, you got your book there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. read some of it. You don't have to do <laughs> You don't, you don't have to do that. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you something. Yeah, what's up, pal? This is not a memoir. It says my memoir on it. Oh, yeah, well, I, I thought this was a memoir. No. I thought this was... No, it only says a memoir on it, but yeah. it's a novel. I don't know, so I'm, you know, I, I was angry when it was in the fiction, nonfiction. Yeah. Because it's think... a, a memoir. It says a memoir. It doesn't mean anything. Right. It's like if you, you know about grapes of wrath. You're like, hey, there's no grapes. You yeah. Know? Or you put it in the grape section. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. Then everybody will find grapes of wrath. Yeah. People that like grapes. Okay, listen. Norm, settle what? down. This Have is... I made my point? You made your point. Uh, I, if I... this was a memoir, if this were a memoir, yeah. I would put juicy things from my own life. Right, right. Like, what kind of things would you put in there that nobody knows? Make sure we pause and the floor doesn't get blocked. But look at it, um... Dude, wearing a suit and gym shoes. Yeah. Norm's out of control. I know. <laughs> I'm like, the socks don't match his outfit. <laughs> and it goes to comfort all the way. My yeah. kind of guy. Because one time I was wearing white socks for like a whole week. People kept pouring them out because they were softer. Yeah. And I got tired of my dress shot socks. I don't know if you wear dress socks, they get kind of sweaty and they start to feel like they're sliding yeah, in the shoe. It's yeah. the worst. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess the biggest thing that nobody knows about me is I'm a deeply closeted gay man. What? I mean, that's, I mean, that's, you're a gay man? I'm not gay. I said I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> what? I'm Wait. as straight as an arrow. <laughs> so you're a gay man who won't admit it? No, no. Do you know what deeply closeted means? Yeah. It means a man who will not acknowledge that he's gay. Yes. So I'm telling you, I'm not gay. <laughs> I got a wife. I just, you got a wife. I just got married because I thought, uh, go through that charade, uh, keep appearances up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the so, kind of thing you'd tell if yeah. this were a memoir. Yeah, yeah, if this, this were a memoir. Right. If this were a memoir, I would tell about my wife. What a battle axe. <laughs> A I battle mean, axe? I mean, I, No I, one's I, called their wife a battle axe since 1945. Listen, listen come <laughs> How do you feel about a woman? She's supposed to be my life partner. I look in the mirror the other day and I says to her, I says, honey, I look in the mirror and all I see is a fat, ugly old man. And I need you to give me a compliment. She says, all right then, uh, your eyesight is damn near perfect. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> A dirty dog? A dirty dog. A well, dirty dog. We have fights constantly. Oh, you, you know? do, do you? Oh, and sometimes it bleeds over. Like we were driving a car. We went past a bunch of animals. There was a pig, a cow. And I, I, I admit this is a little cruel. You were you kind know? of mad at her at the time. I was mad at her. So I said, hey, you see that pig, that cow, you know, horse? That remind you of any of your relatives? <laughs> she says, yeah, my in-laws. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Dirty dog again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, I won't say any na like, names, but I know somebody who was like in the closet for a really, really long time, a kid's wife, all that kind of jazz. Yeah. And he was not truly happy until you finally like, you know, came out of the closet out, yeah. and got a like a boyfriend who's now his husband, all that kind of jazz. So like, yeah, he's joking about it and it's funny as heck, but every time somebody says something, it makes me think about that. Like, man, that's gotta be tough. Yeah. Living a lie that long, that's gotta be tough. I know like, someone that, like, I used to work with, you know them too, but they, like, will not admit it, and it's so obvious. Yeah. And they were, like, dating someone, and they post pictures on vacation, blah, 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 and I'm like, who's taking the picture? <laughs> I want to know. I don't know. Because I don't care, you yeah. know, it's not like I would judge them, but I, I want to know. Yeah, but I know it's, but, it's, it's a hard thing to do. Yeah, though, especially, so. like, if your family's not accepting. Like, yeah, and if your whole family's going to shut you off, yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah. I tell you, until I met my wife, I always felt incomplete. Now I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs>
But I, I will say this. What is going on? I will say this. What is this going? What is going on? I will say this. This is a 1935 radio show. I know. Penny Youngman, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What's let, that you say there, Norm? Let me, let me see. Norm, what's that you say? Tell us more, Norm. <laughs> We're gonna take a break for Chester Seal figure dance. <laughs> well, let me say Seal something more dance. more modern and stylish then. Okay. My uh, wife went into a coma. Oh, sorry to hear that. And uh, the doctor said uh, to me, you won't hear this from any 1935 comic. <laughs> he says to me, there's one way to wake her up, but it's a little unconventional. You go in there and you have oral sex with her. I said, by God. <laughs> he says, I've seen it work. I said, well, I'm willing to try. So I go in there, I'm in there about five minutes, and I come out. I said, Doc, she's choking. <laughs> um, but that's modern medicine that's for you. That's modern medicine. We're going to take a break. <laughs> I'm gonna find out what's that, happening here. That's modern. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a little break here. Here's a message from the good people at uh, Bosco Chocolate Syrup. <laughs> we'll be back. More Norm McDonald after this. Oh, Norm's out of control. That was good. <laughs> He's stupid. Oh, shoot. Going to freaking dying. Oh, my God. Uh, I hope we don't block this. Yeah. yeah, that was good. That was funny. That was, that was some good, good old classic norm. Mm -hmm. They got a 2010 and 2011 right here. That's long ago. But it's probably some good stuff in there. Break it up. Yeah, I would, I'd rather just watch like the clips because what happens we, that we whenever we do those compilations, people send us clips like, well, we saw these because they're in a part of a compilation. That's one reason yeah. I hate doing the compilations because people recommend them and then we it's part of the compilation. Already, so, yeah. All right, folks. We're not gonna drag this one out. That was that's all for this one. We're coming up on eight thousand subscribers, so we'll be announcing the get the giveaway of the drone pretty soon. So make sure you guys look out for that. And continue to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. Anything else, sweets? Nope. All right, that's all, folks. Later.